So first I'm going to start off using my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous in 842. It's definitely like two shades darker than me, so whatever. Maybe not. I don't know. I think it's time to address these bags. I'm growing in my eyebrows normal again. Normal, whatever that means. Um, I can't keep up with the cute little baby hairs that I have to keep plucking every five seconds. And so they gotta go. So I started using this contouring palette powder, this guy right here, as just a face powder and it's working pretty well. My MAC powder is way too dark for me right now, so that doesn't look cute with not a tan body. So I'm just going to take that color that I'm talking about right here and just dab it all over and then under my eyes I just mix it with a little bit of the white powder as like a highlight. of whatever's on there and just drag it under here to kind of make the jaw look a little more there. I don't know which blush I want to use today. Let's go with this guy. This is the e.l.f. blush palette in dark. And then it's very, very pigmented, so watch out. And I just kind of mix it in a little bit and bring it forward. Same color a little bit under my nose. So I'm taking that same color I used to contour my cheeks and contour my nose with it. 
with this little weird brush. I don't know. I got them on Amazon. I really can't even think of the name, but I will put it in the description bar. You're welcome. I'm gonna take a little bit under here and this whole little crevice. So at first things will look a little muddy, but once you go ahead and clean it up, it'll look a lot cleaner. So now you just blend that out and now I'm also gonna add a little line across here horizontally just to make it look like creating a new tip in my nose. I don't do anything to the... What are those called? I do anything to those just because I don't think they need that much help, to be honest. Um, and then next, I take my MAC powder that I was talking about that's too dark for me and just clean up the sides of my nose. I just take like main pinky and just get a little bit of that. And then run it along the end of the, this part right here. Like right here, and then just drag it all the way down. Honestly, just kind of sit that, let that sit there and bake a little bit, even though it looks funny right now. It looks really intense actually, but once I blend all the way, it'll look a lot more natural. I'm also gonna add a line of that down the ridge too. In the meantime, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then I will be right back. Oh, the difference that brows make. Also, I just realized I forgot to highlight my face. And lastly, for my whole like face routine, is to just clean up the contour. Take the same matte powder and then just a little flat brush right here. nice neutral colors that you like up here, up here, up here, and then the darks. And then it also has a lot of fun colors, so I feel like it's all a really nice with one palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this color right here. It's like a nice burnt, paley, peachy color.
drag it underneath the eye as well. spongy or you could just get a regular sponge brush. I just don't like the fibers. I'd rather have this little squishy first and then blend it out with a little bit of eyeshadow. So. just to kind of make them look a little more sharp not as chillin as they are I'm gonna do a few coats of the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara I think that you say that right and I'm just gonna apply a ton of mascara to both my top and bottom lashes
mascara all done, I'll realistically probably go back and add like six more coats, but that's okay. Now it's time for the lips, please. And I really have the worst collection of lip products ever, to be honest. I just feel like I don't like how stuff feels on my lips sometimes, and so I tend not to wear it as much because it like almost grosses me out in a weird way. I don't know. I know it looks bomb now, so here we go. So I was really, really, really obsessed with the Revlon Colorburst little matte balm things in a crayon form, and this one is 250 stand out. I don't even know if they're still making these or not, but I just take a little bit on my like finger, ring finger, and kind of warm it up, and then I go on the inner parts of my lips and like dab it in there, and then tap it out, and then it kind of gives like a nice ombre effect-ish type of thing. And so it just gives you like a nice little wash over the lips without being like too harsh or too hard of a line because I don't really like the hassle of going in with lip liner and stuff like that, even though sometimes it's nice. So here is the final look. Subscribe, like, comment, do all those fun things, and I promise I'll be back. Bye, thanks for watching. Peace out, boys.